subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates hello everyone this is yazid thank you once again for being here today today's video is for all my friends who trade especially people who are new to trading and i made this specially to share with you one of my favorite trading strategies that i have used over the years of course when trading in financial markets you will encounter several popular trading strategies ultimately it's up to you to decide which is the best trading strategy for you but no matter what your strategy the most important aspect of any trade is when to take your profits after all you only make money when you actually close a trade now a lot of traders see paper profits in their account but by the time they've squared off their positions they end up with losses instead why is that simply because they didn't know when exactly to book their profits in this video we run through a strategy which not only helps you decide when to book your profits but more importantly gets you in a position wherein you cannot lose money on a trade intrigued stick around and watch this video Although there are no specific stock trading strategies that can guarantee a profit, there are strategies that can ensure that you keep your losses to a minimum. This strategy goes a step further. It aims to put you in a position wherein you cannot lose any money on a trade. But before we proceed any further, do keep in mind that like anything else, investing in the stock market does carry certain risks. All right, let us begin. As a trader or an investor, the first thing one must do is obviously decide on the amount of investment that one wants to make, whether it is an investment account or a trading account. Here today we are going to be talking about purely trading. Hence let us assume that there is a trader named Yash who decides to deploy 10 lakh rupees for trading in stocks. The next step is probably one of the most important steps of trading. As an objective trader, it is essential to follow a clearly defined set of rules. for trades such as entry exit time frame order types and markets but even more is limiting the risk to the money in your trading account now this is obviously subjective for each trader but it's best to set a limit to around 3% of your account per trade that's a maximum loss per trade should not exceed 3% of the total corpus all right so now we have yash who is set to trade with 10 lakh rupees in stocks and he is going to limit his risk to 3% which is 30000 rupees per trade so what's missing here now a stock for the purpose of this example let us assume that yash decides to trade in our favorite controversial stock itc limited Now, itc is currently trading at levels close to 250 to 260 rupees per share so to keep things simple let's take a round figure of 250 rupees using the table below let us understand how the strategy actually works With 10 lakh rupees at his disposal, at the market price of 250 rupees, Yash buys 4,000 shares of ITC, with the set rule that in case the price of ITC drops by 3% during the period of the trade, he will exit the trade. So that is a stop loss. The maximum loss for the trade cannot exceed 30,000 rupees. But Yash, like any other trader, is hoping for a positive outcome from the trade, and if he is ready to risk 30,000 rupees. which is 3% of his capital on a trade he would be hoping to make at least 10% as a profit again from this table we can see that yash is expecting to make a minimum of 10% on this trade in itc that is a profit of 1 lakh rupees now of the thousands of stocks traded daily on the exchanges yash picked itc for a reason he believes that the price is going to rise and he is expecting that it appreciates by at least 10% in fact he is so convinced that it will go up that he is even willing to bet 3% of his capital for this idea but now as seasoned traders know predicting the market is challenging because the future is inherently unpredictable yash could be entirely wrong and the price of itc does not rise on the contrary it falls in which case he would lose as much as 30000 rupees if his stop loss would get triggered and that's just a trade that goes against expectations and there is nothing one can do A trader has to acknowledge that losses are part and parcel of trading activity. But what happens if Yash is right and the price of ITC does move higher? 
but it doesn't go all the way up as per his expectations. Now this is the part where a lot of traders tend to go wrong. They wait too long in a winning position and ultimately end up with losses. And this is why this strategy is so important to implement. Now let us look at Yash's position again. Remember his stop loss is at 3% which means Yash is risking 7.5 rupees per share. Using the strategy, as soon as ITC moves up by 6%, which means as soon as he makes 15 rupees per share, he will sell half of his position and immediately book a profit of 30,000 rupees. Now, a profit booked of 30,000 rupees means that it is money already in Yash's pocket. He cannot lose that now. So with half the quantity already sold, Yash now has an open position of 2,000 shares of ITC. But he still needs to make the strategy foolproof so that he cannot lose money on this trade no matter what. And that's what the next step of the strategy is. As soon as Yash has booked profit on half of his position, he immediately modifies his stop loss price also by half. Earlier, the stop loss was at 3%, that is 7.5 rupees per share. Now he modifies it to 1.5% of the buy price of 250 rupees, that's only 3.75 rupees per share. This essentially means that on the remaining 2000 shares of ITC, Yash is risking only 7500 rupees on this trade. Now Yash has already booked a profit of 30,000 rupees, which is with him, and the maximum loss that he can now incur on this trade is 7,500 rupees. Which means that even in a worst case scenario, Yash will still make 22,500 rupees on this trade now. Finally, let's look at the ideal scenario. If you recall, when Yash initiated this transaction, he was expecting the price of ITC to rise by at least 10%. So what happens if he was right and that target is met? If ITC does increase by 10% from the cost of his purchase, then on the balance 2,000 shares, Yash would make 50,000 rupees, that is 25 rupees per share, multiplied by the balance 2,000 shares. And as he had already booked a profit of 30,000 rupees earlier, Yash would make a total profit of 80,000 rupees on this trade. Another way to look at this is by taking out profits and closing half the trade, Yash is risking just 7,500 rupees to make an additional 50,000 rupees. So the risk reward ratio is definitely in favor of Yash. And that's what I like most about this strategy. Now, once you see your profit, you need to take some off the table and then reduce your risk. As a trader, you want to keep your risks at a minimum, if possible, and this strategy ensures exactly that. Now, as we saw, once the strategy was locked in, Yash could make anywhere between 22,500 rupees and 80,000 rupees, but there was no worry of a loss. And this helps a trader like Yash to sit back relax and wait for a set target. This is smart trading. Selecting a trading strategy doesn't have to be complicated and you don't have to stick with just one. A key thing to remember is that the best traders are adaptable and can change their trading strategy based on opportunities. Therefore, it's a good idea to learn about each individual trading strategy and by combining different approaches to trading, you can become more adaptive to each situation. Patience is key when learning to become a successful trader and mistakes and losses are inevitable in order to grow and develop your trading skills. Finally, the golden rule of trading is that there is no golden rule. It is essentially an activity that calls for discipline and risk management and can only be perfected over time. All right, guys. With that, we come to the end of this week's video. As always, thanks for watching. We do our best to make these videos for you all. So I hope you liked this one. And if you did, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. This is Yazad signing off. Until next week. Happy investing. Goodbye.